Good morning, good morning, good morning to you, my brothers and sisters. Throughout the world, I greet you all. In the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I am here in my quiet time with the Lord. And yesterday, while I was home, by myself, everyone was, uh, my husband was at work, my son was at school. I began to watch um, this prayer devotion that I normally watch in the morning time. And after the prayer devotion was ended, I began to watch a revivalist, a uh, young man that, you know, comes on, he preach and he teach and so he was on preaching. And while I was watching him preach and talk about the Holy Ghost and the power of the Holy Ghost and what the Holy Ghost is supposed to do and what, what we allow the Holy Ghost to do for us and in our lives. And he was just teaching concerning the Holy Ghost, you know, in John 14 and 26, the Father said, and I will send the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. He will send him in Jesus' name and the Comforter will teach us all things and bring all things to our remembrance and he will use other scriptures, uh, the power that God has given us and all that stuff. So he was talking and I was, you know, sort of glued to listening to the teaching, to the preaching that he was doing and he started to talk about Jesus healing the man with the legions and what caught me you know even as i think about it now he was preaching about when the apostles the disciples they couldn't cast out the demons out of the man and the man went to jesus and say you know my son is possessed with these demons and he cut himself he threw himself in the fight i pray that's the correct word that i'm using the animation that revivalists Nelson demonstrated was so powerful that I sat there and I wept and even thinking about it right now I got emotion I get emotional because the demonstration we know the power of God and we know what the power of God can do but to see how Jesus Christ instantly immediately those demons came out of that young man it was a young boy that was possessed by demons, by legions. But just the presence of God, just the presence of Jesus Christ, those demons had to back up. But I'm sharing this to say, when we come in contact with Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters, sorry, my glasses have this glare um, shining, but when we come in contact with Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, when we invite him in to come into our heart the power that is within us because we accepted him he said greater works than these shall we do he said behold i have given unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions i've given you power over the enemy and nothing by no means shall hurt you we have the word of god he said and i will send the comforter which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. And he will bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever he has taught you. And as I sit here this morning, my brothers and sisters, I began to read the word of God. I read it in devotion this morning, but I took a few minutes, a few quiet minutes, you know, to, to myself and because this is a new month, this is a new season. And this is time that we draw nigh to Christ, that we get closer. My brothers and sisters, so much are happening in our world today. So much is going on. But I pray today that we, the believers in Christ, we rise up and we shine for the glory of God has come upon us. And we be that light and we be that representation for the last and evil days that we could be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. The Bible says a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. 
And as I began to read 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, and I have the children's edition of the good news, and I have the King James here in the front of me. The King James read this passage of scriptures, and it reads, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 through 15. It reads, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Be careful men and women of God in this season, in this hour. Men and women of God that claims to be Christ's vessels. Let us be careful. Let us be careful that we are not false apostles, false teachers and false pastors seducing men and women to just suck from them and take from them and leave them empty and dry we will be judged by the wrath of god for such a false apostle deceitful workers wicked evil men and women out there deceiving people sucking their life savings out of them and using God's name. Let us be careful. As I read this, I say, God, everything that I do, everything that me and my family do, please, Jesus, let us do it with a pure heart. Let us be sure that what we are doing, we are doing it in the will, in the purpose, and in the plan of God. That God will get the glory, God will get the honor, and God will get the praise. They are deceitful, deceiving men out there. Disguise, transform as, as men, as ministers of Christ. But they are not of Christ. It says their end will come and every person will be judged. You will get pay according to the work that you have done. Be careful what kind of seed you are sowing in this season. Be careful what kind of message you are sharing in this season. It is, if it's not God, do not speak it. Because you will be judged. You will be held accountable for the many souls you have deceived. And in the children's translation of the good news those men are not true apostles they are false apostles who lie about their work and disguise themselves to look like real apostles of christ well no wonder if even satan can disguise himself to look like an angel of light so it is no great thing if his servants disguise themselves to look like servants of righteousness in in the end they will get exactly what their actions deserve at the end of the day if you and i do not repent and confess our sins and turn from our wicked evil ways the wrath of god the destruction of god will hit us and we will perish because we will hear oh, oh you um depart from me i know you not 
you worker of iniquity. But we want to hear well done, servants of the true and living God. We want to hear well done. You are faithful over few. Come on, saints of God. They are deceiving and deceitful men and women out there. Using God. I ask my husband, I say, Shman the Bible that Jesus ever asked for seed. For an offering. Jesus taught us how to love and how to have compassion and how to give and help. Those that are in need and less fortunate. When you was hungry, you feed me. When you was naked, you clothe me. When I was in prison, you visit me. This is the rules and the laws and the command of God for us as servants of God. The Bible says, and my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I have a vision that I am embarking on. And I believe in God because if I'm doing the will of God with a pure heart, then I know God will come true for me. He will supply every need according to his riches and glory. I don't have to go about begging this one and begging that one and asking for a hand out here and hand out there. Because if God give me the vision, if God give me the ministry, he's the same God that will supply the need that the ministry need. Brothers and sisters, let us be careful in this hour and in this season. How we present ourselves. Let us be righteous men and women of God. Let us not be fake and false and evil and wicked, deceiving, manipulating, misleading. But let us be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. That at the end of the day we will hear well done. I pray today my brothers and sisters. That you will grab the word of God. As I sit here and I meditate and I seek the face of God, I pray that you will do the same. We all need Jesus Christ, the bishop, the pope, the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the minister. We all need Jesus. And we got to need him in such a way that we rely and depend on him and him alone. Let's be real. Let's be true. Let's be real apostles, real men and women of God. That are winning souls for the kingdom of God. And everything we do, we do it in decency and in order. We do it to the honor and the praise and the glory of God. I pray these few words bless you and encourage you and uplift your spirit today. As we trust in the Lord. As we lean and depend on him and him alone. You'll be blessed today. You'll be encouraged today. Is my prayer in Jesus name. Blessings to you my brothers and sisters. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I prove Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus. Precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know. The said the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove him more and more, Jesus. 
Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him, oh, for grace to trust Him. Thank <laughs> you.